Welcome back everyone. Day 23 to our 31 days to a better backswing. Yeah, can't believe it. We're firing along here. As always, I'm with Jonathan from the Gray Institute. I think it looks like he's got a step out today. So I think we're going to be starting to work on some of that vertical component in the swing. Essential, essential to reaching your maximum speed. So I'm interested to see what he's got, to, what he's going to show us today. If you're just joined us and you're curious to what's going on, uh, download our app, go to the Google Play or uh, our app store, search Golf Zone Lead Better, download the app. All our videos up to now have been uploaded. The future videos we uploaded in the same space. And there's also lots of other cool stuff on, on the app, learning opportunities for players, coaches. There's a great course on, on there from the Gray Institute as well. Stay tuned to the end. Um, I'm gonna try to give you some insights into how this is connected to the swing and maybe connected to some of the tendencies you're seeing in your own swing. So yeah, without, without delay, let's see what Jonathan's got to say today. Okay, so here we go. You can see I'm almost something different, right? The environment's changed. I'm standing up on a box. All right, we're gonna take advantage of that, stepping off of the box, lunging off of the box, utilizing gravity coming down, increasing the mass and momentum of our body, essentially, into the ground, requiring a greater challenge to push up out of it, which again is gonna enhance the strength of our hips, while at the same time, we're using this core ball, we're getting loaded from the top down, it's going right through our core, right through the leg, through our arms, meeting right in our core, it's gonna be an awesome, awesome workout, okay? So we're gonna hit our three lunges that we've kind of learned where we go forward, side, and then we open up like that windshield wiper, okay? So here we go. Drop it down, absorb it, push it on out. Kind of try to time it up where you hit your backswing right as the, as the lunging leg is loading into the ground. Then you go to the side, and then you can open on up. Okay, this might be one of my favorite exercises um, to help me build some really good strength. And really even some power starts to come in to be able to get out of the ground like that, okay? So again though, I wouldn't start here with a lot of people, okay? So maybe you don't need to start here, but if you've been doing the other mobility and balance and strength exercises along the way, don't be afraid, give it a shot, okay? Because you're probably gonna be successful if you started back at the initial days. So give this one a try, it's one of my favorites. All right, we'll talk to you later, see ya. Yeah, there, there's a challenging exercise and Jonathan's just said, don't feel like you need to start there. If this is the first time you've joined us, really go back to day one. Um, you've, you've done these lunges before. We've, talk, we've talked about these lunges before. Obviously, it's adding that step component now, which is just giving us a little that gravity effect with load. So we're, we're doubly challenging ourselves uh, with this exercise. But well, if, if you're at the stage, you can start doing this now. There's a lot of benefits for your golf. There's a, there's no question there's a, there's a vertical component to the swing. Um, we don't stay level throughout the whole golf swing, where you know, if you look at our level of our hips and even the level of our head, players who stay perfectly level throughout the whole swing, well, in general, they're not the longest hitters. We have this, yeah, we're loading, in, we're lo we're loading into, into the trail hip. We're maybe getting a little lower, and then we're exploding upwards as we're rotating and shifting and moving back into the hip. There's that up and slight up and down movement, like there is in any sport. You know, tennis is a little up and down. Basketball, you've got to have that little bit of vertical at the right moment. And yeah, you look at any hitting sport, there's that vertical component. And Jonathan's starting to connect us to that in the golf swing. Yeah, these lunges, again. Yeah, you, you you guys know this by now, right? So if you're struggling with rotating, the one where you've got the wind chain, uh, the as John says you you've got that uh, window wiper. <laughs> I'm from I'm from Britain, so I'll call it that the window wiper. It's helping the rotation in the left hip, the lunge to the right, loading into the hip, and being able to explode off it. If someone, if you're someone who just doesn't go to the end of the hip and the backswing works away from it, or you go there but you just keep sliding and hanging back. It's a great exercise for you to be able to feel how you load, you brace, and you explode off it. Obviously, then keeping that flexion, the lunges, lunges back and forth as you're doing it, being able to flex your hips, again, being able to load back, stay there, and then explode off the hip. Extending your hip through impact is a huge, has a, is a huge component to speed. So it'll again, it looks like golf, it feels like golf, and when you when you go through this, you'll really start to connect it to your own swing. If you're somebody looking now, you're swinging well, you want to add a little bit of speed and power to your swing, this is a great exercise for you.